The Digitimer DS3 is a battery-powered, low-noise, constant current stimulus isolator intended for in vitro and in vivo electrical stimulation. It has multiple current ranges, each precisely adjustable to give an overall range of 2 microamps to 32 milliamps, as well as pulse duration control from 20 microseconds to 2 seconds. Single output pulses can be delivered in response to TTL compatible triggers or gated on and off by a TTL high and low input. The DS3 also features a single shot trigger button, polarity control switch and battery test sockets. The DS3 isolated constant current stimulator can be triggered by a TTL compatible voltage pulse. To use this method of control, just connect a BNC cable between the trigger input socket and the trigger source. Digitimer provides a pair of 2mm touch-proof plugs for electrode connection and these should be inserted into the front panel output sockets. A rotary switch and variable dial provide control over the pulse duration from as little as 20 microseconds up to 2 seconds. A 3.2 turn precision dial and range selector switch provide current amplitude control from 2 microamps up to 32 milliamps. Power is provided by 10 9 volt PP3 alkaline batteries plus a single battery for control circuitry. Batteries are only drained during stimulus delivery, even if the power switch is left on by accident. A single shot trigger button permits internal triggering of the stimulator and stimulus delivery is confirmed by the amber LED located near the output sockets. The polarity of the stimulus can be reversed using the front panel toggle switch. By adjustment of the pulse duration switch, the duration of an external TTL compatible pulse can be used to gate stimulation on and off. This is of particular use if stimuli longer than 2 seconds are required. Battery test sockets are provided to allow the operator to check the battery voltages. We recommend setting the DS3 to a 2 second long pulse and measuring the voltage while a stimulus is delivered through the usual stimulation electrodes placed in a dish of saline. This stresses the batteries and ensures they do not give falsely high readings. If batteries need replacing, remove the four case screws and slide the two halves of the case apart, taking care not to strain the red and black wires that connect the battery pack to the main circuit board. If necessary, these wires can be disconnected from the main circuit board via the small white clip. As well as the main battery compartment inside the black housing, the single control battery resides in the other half of the case. The main battery compartment is opened by removing the four screws at the corners of the housing. This can then be lifted away to reveal the batteries. All batteries should be replaced at the same time and with a high quality alkaline equivalent. Once batteries are replaced, the case should be reassembled in reverse, taking care to reconnect any wires. The DS3 has two internal jumpers that allow the operator to change the behaviour of the stimulator. On the right hand side of the PCB is a blue jumper relating to the single shot button. When in the MOM, or momentary position, as shown, Single presses of the trigger button give rise to stimuli with the duration determined by the front panel settings. In the cont or continuous position, the duration of the press determines the duration of the stimulus. The second jumper controls the output clamp circuit, which when set to clamp in, discharges the stimulating electrode for 20 microseconds after each pulse. This prevents a build-up of capacitance at the preparation during repetitive stimulation.